For Channel 9, we're dedicated to cutting through the stigma surrounding mental illness. And tonight, four Huff High School students are helping us in that mission. After the death of a classmate, they realized that something needed to change. In a conversation with our education reporter, Elsa Gillis, they shared the challenges facing teens today and how they hope to help. When it struck our community, we realized we needed to talk about mental health. So that's Over that a year ago, the Huff High School community lost one of their own to suicide, and it hit them hard. Did you guys know the student who passed away last year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is something that really shook the school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These students say it sparked the difficult conversation that all around them, people are struggling with their mental health. I mean, is it hard to be a teen right now? I, uh, I think it is. Well, I see a lot of kids who feel like their test scores define them, who feel like if they don't do well on their test next week, that their life is over. You know, I see a lot of people that I know um, starting to seclude themselves. And, that pressure to perform know, can be extremely damaging, according to Dr. Katrine Penn with CMS, who, like these teens, is working to change how students see themselves and how the community frames them. And when we forget the humanity, the, the whole personness of our kids, um, we, we set them up to begin to understand their own self-worth as just that thing. Mackenzie Martin says she felt that applying to college. I felt like I was my application. I didn't feel like I had much value beyond that at times. And social media doesn't help. If I'm sitting at home on a Friday night and then I go and I open my phone and then I see all my friends are out at dinner or something, then I feel like I'm missing out and that just, that's something that causes stress. Just days after these students lost their classmate, 17 people were killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida, another stressor that weighs heavily on this generation. I, f I feel safe at school, but it's just a scary thought to like think about all this stuff. So far this school year, Dr. Penn says CMS has done about 2,800 suicide risk assessments, sitting down one-on-one -on -one with students to determine the risk of harm to themselves. But she says in a district of over 147,000 kids, she'd like to see more risk assessments, knowing the county statistics show about 16 to 21 percent of middle and high schoolers have thought about suicide. She also revealed an upsetting takeaway so from her yearly meeting with mental health being, staff. Their words were, were seeing sicker kids than what we've seen in the past. It makes what these students are doing all the more important, talking about anxieties and fears and letting people know it's okay to feel depressed or off and to ask for help. If you don't, then, you know, people can feel lost and alone. It's not all about fixing the problems, just even voicing what like my problems are and what issues I'm going through helps me cope. You don't necessarily need to have anything traumatic happen in your life to just be having mental health struggles. I think that's a big part of growing up. Wow, kudos to them mm -hmm. for tackling a big issue yeah. among their peers. Uh, those students actually belong to Sources of Strength. It's a school program to help prevent bullying, suicide, and substance abuse. Well, they told us their first step to addressing mental health is, of course, talking about yeah. it. After one year of the program, they say they already feel a difference at their school. Mm -hmm. Well, join us for a special program as we continue the conversation about mental health, offering powerful stories and options for people who need help. Charlotte's Hidden Crisis airs Wednesday night at 8 p.m. right here on Channel 9.